Here are a few shortcuts that's going to help you to edit faster in DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci and the first thing I want to teach you guys is the space bar. The space bar is going to be used in order to help you to start moving your video and stop, start, stop. That's your first. The next is all these three letters and they are J, K and L. The L is going to allow you to move faster. If you press it one more time, you move two times faster, three times faster, and so forth. And then your K is going to stop you uh, the movement of your video. And in order to go backwards, you're just going to press the J. And the same principle goes. You press it, and you'll be going faster and faster. All right, so that is going to allow you to move, to scrub through your timeline faster if you have a really long timeline. Okay, so the next thing that you want to learn, guys, is using the arrow key on your keyboard. First thing is you want to learn how to shift through each of your cuts within the timeline. If you press your up arrow, you'll notice that you'll move backwards. If you press your down arrow, you notice that you're going to remove forward much faster and this is allow you to move through each of your cuts that you have actually made on your timeline all right the next thing now is if you press the left or right arrow it lets you actually move a frame at a time on your timeline all right so if you want to make micro adjustment or micro cuts let's say you have an audio <clears throat> And you actually go into and you want to make any kind of minor cuts you you are able to go through and just move increments on your timeline next now is for you to be able to maneuver through your timeline so in order to do this you're going to hold down your command or control key on the keyboard and literally what you do is you scroll on the mouse and you notice that you're going to scroll left and right on the timeline. The next option now is if you hold down your, your option or alt key, you're literally going to zoom in and zoom out. Sorry about the noise, guys. So that is going to help you to actually work a lot faster in zooming in or zooming out. All right. So the next thing now is once you have actually zoomed in, you can actually hold on your shift key and press the Z key. And what that does, it allows you to go to the state that you were at originally before you actually zoomed all the way in just in case you want to see the entire timeline and all you do hold the shift down again and press the z and you go back to where you were before all right and also if you have a video on top and you actually want to zoom into the video or zoom out or if you press and hold your scroll wheel on your mouse you're able to move the video to whatever position that you actually want and if you want to go back to where it was originally all you do you press the z key on your keyboard and it brings it back to the default viewing angle all right so your next thing now guys is simple thing is when you want to do certain cuts on your keyboard usually what you do is you click with your mouse and you go and you cut and you cut and you cut all right i'm going to undo those so what you could actually do now guys is you could hold on your com your um <clears throat> your command or control key and press the backslash and that does the actual cut for you so if you want to just easily do a cut that's one of the easiest way you can go about doing it also so if you would like to do a cut where you can actually so let me just give do a couple cuts here so let me go one cut here and here so let's say now i want to remove this centerpiece right here all right before i actually made a cut so what i'll do is i'll put a video timeline right here and all i do now is i hold down the command or control along with your shift 
and then you press your your open bracket key and what that does it cuts forward if you if you hold the open bracket key on the right let me undo that or if you want to just cut the section that is right here only you sit you hold on the command control shift and you press the left bracket key and it takes you and it cuts that out as well all right so the next one now guys is let's say now I did a small cut, um, let's say, on this particular video here, all right? So I'm going to just come here, and I'm going to do a small cut. When I do that cut, guys, and now let's say I change attributes of this particular video. So let's say I zoom in. I do, let's say, a crop from the left, and I want to copy those features over to this particular video here first you want to click on the original then you press your command or control and C then you go over to the other side and you press your option or alt and V and what that does now is it brings up all the features that you can actually have in terms of the attributes that you actually did. So let's say I just click on all of them and I click on apply. You're gonna see now that this particular video here has copied over the same thing as this one over here. All right, guys? So that's one quick, quick way of you copying and pasting um, whatever it is that you did on a particular video you want to copy to the other one to, to just kind of mirror what basically happened. All right, so let me undo that. So the next one now, guys, <clears throat> is let's say you're on your timeline. And if you notice here that every time I scrub over the timeline, you see it auto selects. You can come over here and you will see this little thing that says auto track select. If you take it off, if you notice now, you will see that it's not auto selecting. I find it very useful because whenever it is I'm scrubbing through the timeline, instead of me always have to click on the timeline every single time, all I do is activate this and all it does, once I scrub over whatever cuts that I did on the timeline, it will definitely select it for you automatically and that can actually save you a few seconds moving through the timeline if you want, if you need to do cuts and so forth. The next thing now, guys, if you notice that your your thing is not rendering, your videos are not rendering as quickly as possible, what you can do is if you come here up to playback and you come to render cache, put this on smart and what this does, you will see that little red um, bar over your, um, your timeline once that turns to blue, you know that it has been fully rendered by the software. And now if you try to go there and run the, the application, so in, in this instance now is this is an animation for a logo. So if I wait until this finishes right here and I just play, it gives me the full um, rendering of that particular um, font. All right, so that's one way of also speeding up your time inside your different results software, guys. Because I noticed that if I don't use this, I tend to, if I'm scrubbing through my timeline, there tend to be like a jittery, um, jittery, jitter over in over when I'm scrubbing versus when I actually put that setting on, I can now scrub through my timeline very easily. Uh, from left to right. So those are the few features guys that I want to share with you guys to help make your video editing um, Much faster. This is more along the lines for beginners um, Or maybe intermediate, but these are some of the, the shortcuts that I've actually used in my Editing sessions inside DaVinci Resolve that made my editing so much faster. So I hope this this has actually helped you guys. If it has, let me know in the description below if it actually helped you, or if there are other shortcuts that you probably know that I probably haven't shared in this video with other people and myself. And you know, just, just let us continue to keep helping each other in the community, in the YouTube community as much as possible, guys. All right, guys, so if this video has helped you, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, guys, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.